Welcome to video 124 in series 3, and now I'll write the destructible degenerate script. Okay, so I'll just make a new C sharp script called destructible degenerate. Now this is all about when the barrel or any destructible object gets to low health, then what should happen is that um, like it's it should continue to degrade until it breaks or explodes or whatever. So that's what it's about. Okay, so private destructible master, destructible master, private bool, oops, not bool, bool is health low, and I'll just give it a default value of false, private float uh, degenerate. I'll just put that as one and private float next degen time public int health loss and I'll give that a default value of five. And I'm just thinking there I'll make this float a public as well so you can change it in the inspector. I won't need a start method so I'll just get rid of that. I'll write a new method here void health low and uh, very quickly I'll just write here is health low is equal to true you'll soon see the usage of this void check if health should degenerate I'll first check if is health low so if this condition is satisfied, the next if time dot time is greater than next degen time, that is satisfied. Then next degen time is equal to time dot time plus degen rate, and that should also mean that I'll call destructible master dot call event deduct health health loss. So that's really, really simple. Uh, and you're, I guess, about to see it all come together. Uh, so in set initial references, destructible master is get component. And that's destructible master. That's it. So I'll just call that here, set initial references. And here I will put destructible master dot event health low. So, oh, I haven't spelt that correctly. Actually, I put it even health low, uh, plus equal. So you can correct that. Just uh, do control R twice, and I'll just put event like that. Hit apply. So found six references in three files. Uh, so that's, yeah, in the three, I guess, destructible stuff. So I'll just hit apply, and that'll change that plus equal health low and just copy that put it in on disable so when that uh, health low gets called when this event uh, is fired then the boolean is set to true and then I'm going to have this be checked in update so check if health should degenerate inside of update and so that'll what will happen is if the health is low it'll keep checking that uh, every update and if that is the case then it'll check the time and whether these con this condition is satisfied that the time the time is greater than the next degen time and yeah the health will get deducted then so really 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 simple and I guess the only thing left to do is to go back to unity and attach this to the barrel. So there it is, degenerate, add it on, uh, apply that to the prefab, and uh, well, I guess the only thing to do is to uh, play it and see what happens. Okay, so I, I shoot it, it's got low health, and boom, it blew up, excellent. So. Uh, that means it's working. Now there is a problem. Let me shoot it. Oops, hopefully I can get to it in time. Grab it. Okay, it's in my inventory. 
and of course I can call it up, which is fine, but it's going to blow up in my hands and there's going to be an inventory bug after that. So let me bring it up. Boom. Okay, blew up and it still shows up in the inventory. And now if I click it, there will be a, of course, an error because it no longer exists and I'm trying to pull this out of my inventory. So in the next video, we'll write a, a really simple script to just take care of that problem and then you'll be able to carry around stuff that's going to blow up in your hands. I don't know why you do that, but uh, well, that's just how I made it, which is enormously silly and good fun. So here we go. How about I grab the barrel and run around? Hi guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, okay, sorry. And uh, that was pretty silly. Okay, so, and that the other barrel blew up and took out the player. Uh, so, okay, so I'll see you in the next video where I'll write the script, which will uh, sort out the inventory, and it's pretty simple. Thanks for watching.